Hi everyone, my name is Kingsley from World Touristic Travelers and Services Limited. Today guys, I'll be sharing with you how you can book your appointment for biometric at the Canadian Consulate. If you have already received your biometric letter from the Canadian government or if you have submitted already your application and you are waiting for your biometric letter, this video is for you. So, once you have done that already, I'll be showing you from step one to step zero how you can comfortably book for your consulate biometric letter. But before that, you must have received what they call the IRCC number. And that comes alongside with your letter of uh, biometric. So, follow with me as I show you how you can book your appointment with the Canadian Consulate for your biometric and pictures. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how you can book for your appointment for biometric collection at the Canadian Consulate. So the first thing is that you must make sure you have received what they call your enrollment letter, your biometric enrollment letter from the Canadian government. So straight we go to our browser and you have to type there uh, visa.vfsgglobal. And once that is done, you will have this page. So we go straight to book now. There are five ways for you to book for your appointment, but the most used and advisable by the by the, uh, the, the consulate is online. By phone, it's not possible. By email, they won't. By web chat, it would not be possible. In person, they won't receive you. So before you present yourself to the embassy, before you even have access to the consulate, the security guard must make sure your enrollment letter, your, your appointment letter is with you to make sure you have an appointment on that day. So we go here. So we go straight to new user. Of course, we fit in the name. We're going to use um, um, Raymond and uh, Raymond Smith. As email, I'm going to use and a phone number. And choose a password. And of course, tick the, the, the terms and condition box and fit in this. Once that is done, you want to go on submit. All right, so in this case. Okay, in this case now, you have to go through your email to activate your account. So, I'm going to go straight to my email and here is the email from the uh, consulate system which is asking me to activate my account in order to be able to book for my appointment. So, I'm going to activate my account. And there we are. So, I had already my my credentials are already fitted automatically since I accepted Google to update my password and to retain my email so I will go straight to fit in this security chat code and I go to continue 
and exactly I have access to the platform to schedule my appointment with the Canadian consulate for my biometric enrollment. So I will go to, in this case, I want to schedule an appointment for my first time. If you wish to change your appointment after you have booked, then you have to go to reschedule. Or if you wish to cancel your appointment, you can go to cancel appointment. In our case, we are going to reschedule an, an, appoint, uh, schedule an appointment and automatically this box will auto fill itself to the uh the sound the city where the consulate is found so in our case in cameroon is found in yaoundé so that is fitted automatically and of course the reason why you're booking is for biometric enrollment so this is automatic even though if you try to change there's no other way to change it because that is the main purpose of the platform it is here you can change the number of person you see in this case it's one person if it was a family of three or four or five you can choose five persons and to fit it into the system so here is one person and of course I have to tick the box acknowledge the terms and condition and you go to straight to continue and there we are you go here on your right hand and you click on add an applicant so they will try to verify if you're not a robot of course i'm a human being so i'm going to tick on the box and you have to make sure if it's true that you're a human being so the cell accent also select the image with the helicopter so this this and this this next this this okay i think that should be enough Okay, so remember guys, before you, if you're able to book, you must have received your enrollment letter. Your enrollment letter comes out with this number, what they call the IRCC number, Immigration Refugee Canadian Citizens. So, the citizenship, sorry. And uh, so, in my case, I will, go to, I will use uh, a number of which I have already booked his appointment. So this is the letter we receive from the immigration. It's called the biometric instruction letter. So I will scroll right down. That's where the number is it. So I will simply copy this number. But I believe it wouldn't go because we have already used that. So I just want to show you so you can do same. And then uh, I'm going to put in here date of birth. And then once I click on submit, okay, you see, as you can see, it couldn't go through because this number is already in use. You can read what is written there. The IRC number is already in use. Please cancel the previous appointment or use a reschedule. See, so that is it. So once you have submitted. Which a, a correct IR system number which is not in use, it will take you to the next step, which is uh, you to choose the date where you want to attend your your appointment and the time. Once you choose those two elements and you validate, they will then forward your enrollment your appointment letter to your email, whereby you can print it out and take it to the consulate for your collection of biometrics that's very simple guys so if you didn't follow up you can drop a comment and we can still retake it out together that's what very easy right so if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly hit on the subscription button below and you keep following us not to miss any of our video. See you later.